Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about functions in TypeScript. Now, functions concept is going to be very same comparing to JavaScript, but here are some key differences that is the major one is we can do the function overloading. In my function video in JavaScript tutorial, I have said that we cannot do the functions overloading that is not supported by native JavaScript, right? Um, here I'm going to use TypeScript uh, in Kyoka plugin using the Kyoka plugin so that we no need to compile our TypeScript file and then again to run our Java, JavaScript file, right? So what I'm going to do is Control Shift P and here I'm going to select this Kyoka new TypeScript file. And here let's start with the basic very simple function how to create a function in TypeScript. The syntax and the ways are going to be very same comparing to your JavaScript but the key differences is like you can type the values right that is what TypeScript right. So let me create a function as add so function add and here I am going to receive two parameters so num1 and num2 and then curly braces and here we have to write out some logic right. So here I'm going to return the values. So return num1 and plus num2, right? Now this is no differences, right? This is what we used to write in JavaScript as well, right? So let me log this here, okay? So log and here I'm going to say add and here I'm going to pass one comma two, okay? So this is going to obviously where we'll get the value as three, uh, that's right. So what I'm going to do now is again, I'm going to log now this time instead of giving numbers i am going to give characters that is string right so string i can say string it is more of not character there is no data type such as character in javascript or typescript it is going to be a string so i am giving two string which is casing my actual uh, intention here is to get the numbers not the string so i cannot restrict that in javascript but i can restrict that in typescript right so here i am going to give the annotations as number so this is going to be my number type and here also I'm going to say it's going to be of number type. Okay. Now as soon as I do that, I'm able to get some uh, error here, right? This says that you, are, you have the type K, which is not assignable to the parameters of type number. And that is what we expected, right? So I'm going to comment this, right? This makes sense to you, right? Because we already have seen what is inference, what is annotations and what is interface in um, in the TypeScript video, right? Now also we know that this function is going to return as a number, right? So I can say here after the function, the parenthesis, I can say here colon and number, okay? That means this function, this add function is going to return as a number type, data type, okay? Either I can do like this or also I can say here. So after the variables, I can say as number, okay? So both are same, you can use however you want, okay? Now if I mouse over on this, it says that this is a function which is going to receive one parameter as number and another parameters as number. And also it is going to return as the number data type, right? Fine. Now, this is very simple. Also, we can write like anonymous function or the arrow syntax function. So whatever the functions we are able to achieve in JavaScript, that all are possible here as well, okay? Um, Next, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's say that I don't want like this, rather I want a function overloading concept here, okay? Now, in Java, there's a inbuilt support for function overloading, right? Which means the function name is going to be same and you can pass a different set of arguments. So that is what function overloading. But here, in terms of JavaScript or TypeScript, that is going to be different a little bit. So let me show you that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function. So let me copy and paste it here. And here I'm going to say add, that's fine. Here I'm going to say I want to get the um, string, okay? So if I change this to string and here also string and let me remove this return type of this function, okay? Now this is not possible, right? Because uh, it says that dupl duplicate function implementation that is not supported by the TypeScript or the JavaScript. So we cannot have like this, but what we can do is, this is actually function overloading, overloading, right? So I have a function called add. 
and here i am passing the argument as number and here i am passing the i am getting the an um, argument as in the form of string right this is what overloading this is possible in java right but in terms of typescript or javascript this is not possible so but there is always a work around in programming so i am going to give you that solution here okay so in typescript also if you check the docu official documentation so they said like we can't do the function overloading uh, using the method which i am going to show you now okay so here um, let me delete this and let me delete this as well okay and here let me remove the brackets okay so i'm not going to write the logic instead of that i'm going to write uh, write my uh, definition only okay i'm not going to do anything with this i'm just going to declare my function here okay so similarly i'm going to declare another function with the same name add and here i'm going to say it should be of num1 and let it let, let it be like uh, a okay so a and this is going to be of string and here b and this is going to be of string okay and here also i'm going to add a semicolon okay now this says that if a mouse over it says that it is now function overload this is concept of function overloading right but the problem still is i cannot run this okay so here i'm getting the error right so the because this guys doesn't do anything just just, just a concrete right so we cannot uh, get any actual value from this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the actual implementation here okay so i have declared the function now i'm going to write the actual implementation so here i'm going to say function add and here also i'm going to receive the arguments so a comma b and here i'm going to write my actual log logic which is nothing but return a plus b okay fine semicolon is not necessary in case if you want you can write okay so here when i'm calling this number add we are getting two numbers right so this is going to obviously return me as number type okay and this is going to be my string so it should return string as well so string right okay now this guy is going to um, accommodate this both the function so i cannot say it's going to return the number or the string so instead of that what can i return is any type okay so in our data types we have seen this any right any means it can be anything number string null undefined object or arrays or anything it can be anything that is the keyword any is used for and here also i am going to say that um, it should be of any type and it should be also of any type okay so in this way we can uh, do the function overloading concept here okay so now if i uh, console log this so here i am getting this case as a string and here i am getting this number as a 3 okay so in this way you can achieve the function overloading concept um, but there is a catch in this okay so for example in java you know that you can have the method name as same and you can pass a different number of data types right i mean in the argument you can pass one or in the second method you can pass two or more like uh, like that you can do right but here if i remove this one here so again this is going to return me error okay so this is not possible it says that this overload signature is not compatible with its implementation signature okay that means this is our implementation signature so this is our actual logic where i am receiving one and two as default right so this is going to be my implementation where this guy which is declaration doesn't have that exact matching signature to be simple you can achieve the function overloading in typescript but the number of arguments should be exactly same but the data type can be deferred but the number of arguments should be exactly same or else it won't work okay um, so this is all about function overloading guys um, there is also another way we can handle this using the optional parameter okay so that means uh, for example here we are getting this error right so what can i do is the first argument is fine but the second argument i can make it as optional okay for example after this num2 here i can give a question mark okay that means it is going to be optional of type but here we are passing this as um, string right so in the string we have to do that um so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to say b string 
and here i am going to make this as an optional okay now if i remove this so now i don't get any um, warnings or error but still my answer is k i am getting but this undefined is also coming because this b uh, because of this b right because b is nothing now so it, it is undefined right we know that what is the meaning of undefined and null so here we are getting the string as undefined so obviously i will get the value as result as undefined as well so of course i can write a if condition here so for example if uh, if b is there then i can say return um, a plus b or else simply return a and b i can say that so else or return a okay so like that i can do so here i will get the answer as 3 because i have the b value so b value is there so i'm getting the 3 1 um, a plus b and here i have only k so obviously i will get the k and if i want to pass another argument i can still do that and here i can give this so this will going to work fine right so that is the use of optional parameter uh, this is known as optional parameter by using the question mark we can achieve that and one thing you have to remember you cannot uh, make the number of arguments it varies right for example if i remove this this is not going to work okay so you have to remember this um, so actually this is not actually function overloading but uh, still we can achieve that in typescript that is how the official documentation says so but when you if you are familiar with java then you know right so that's going to be different this is going to be different but comparing to javascript i think this makes sense to us right and one more thing you have to remember in this optional parameters so here i can say like comma b question mark colon um, data type that is string so this is possible okay but if i remove this from here and if i pass the question mark to the first parameter then again i will get error it says that uh, if i mouse over so it says that a required parameter cannot follow an optional parameter okay reverse is possible but this is not possible in typescript okay so you have to remember two things you can achieve the function overloading concept but the number of argument should be same time same i mean same yeah number of arguments should be same but the type can be different okay uh, let's do what can i do here is let me make it as optional here and i'm going to copy everything and i'm going to create a typescript file here okay so here i can say learn functions um, dot ts okay and here i'm going to paste everything so and here if i go to my terminal what i'm going to do is i'm going to compile this so cd within my folder and here i'm going to use tsc which is nothing but typescript compiler and here i'm going to call my functions ts now this guy is going to compile our code so this is nothing to worry about we already know about this and here you can see that learn functions.js is the new file so if i go and click here if you see the differences let me open in side by side so right click and split right okay now if you see the differences here um, the same thing here what we got here if you see this is how javascript so here we have this optional parameters declarations and everything right but in our javascript that is not possible okay now we know this why we are getting this error because both are in the same location where both have same function so what can i do is i can do this export nothing so this is going to fix our problem okay uh, that's fine so here if you see the differences in javascript no concept like concept like um, uh, optional parameters or different types of function overloading concept so your javascript is going to looks very similar okay the advantage i see here is like if i remove this here i won't get any uh, compile time error in the javascript right so in the runtime based on the number of arguments the answer is going to differ right but in terms of typescript if i remove this now this guy will give me error saying that 
two arguments required but only one is passed okay um hope this makes sense to you um so see you in the next video very soon